What's going on everybody? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. Today I am reviewing the all new Tangiers Tobacco. This particular flavor is Leviathan. Tangiers just released nine new flavors to the market and there's been a lot of buzz about these nine new flavors. People are discussing and arguing about the flavor strength, the performance, the flavor themselves, the acclimation process, and the new Tangiers in general. So today, I wanna have that discussion with you guys and tell you guys my thoughts on it. If you guys are new to the channel, I want you guys to know what you can expect from me. I always tell it how it is based off my experience. So I never shy away from the bad things. I like to highlight the good things, but I always tell it so when you guys spend your hard earned money on these products, you guys know what to expect. You guys know what my perspective was. And just so if it happens to you, great. And if it was bad, so you guys know as well. So let's get into it. The setup today is my Golden Desert Stainless Steel Hookah. And this thing has been performing wonderfully. And you guys will see a review of this. I do have this Tangiers pack in an 80 feet 80 bowl. I do have a Brohood screen on top which doesn't really make a big difference in terms of performance. It just allows me to edge out my coals a little bit more and gives me a little bit of lip so the coals don't fall down if I'm getting a little crazy in here. Of course, I am using Prestige Flats and I do have four flats on top. Now my opinion of Tangiers and my experience with it has been pretty consistent since I've started smoking it back in about 2013. It is a difficult tobacco to pack, to smoke, to enjoy. I think they do a wonderful job with their flavors. They are super accurate, they're unique. I mean, he just does a wonderful job with them. But I do think that this tobacco is hard to smoke and hard to master. Why? I don't know. I've been someone who's been smoking for a very long time. I used to be the ones on the forums back in the day on hookahpro.com watching tutorial videos on how to pack tangiers perfectly down to a science. And it used to be that only the elite, the most knowledgeable smokers could smoke tangiers. Now, as I've learned a lot more about tobacco in general, I'm confused why this is. This tobacco is not much different from other tobaccos on the market, especially other dark leaves. So in other dark leaves, they're not that hard. To compare to trifecta, for example, trifecta, you throw it in there, you dense pack it, you fluff pack it, you pack it to the rim, you pack it a little low, heat management device, foil, no matter what you do, trifecta always works. You open up the jar and it's ready to go. Tangiers is a totally different animal and I'm telling you, I do not know why. Tangiers is known to have to be acclimated. So when you first receive your bag of Tangiers, you have to let it sit out in the environment that's gonna smoke it. Now, I used to strongly believe this. I used to have my Tangiers in my house. I used to take it to a friend's house at my house worked perfectly. That car ride over to a friend's house and that cane mint did not smoke. They used to happen all the time back with me and Wayne in the day. I just, it didn't work and I never realized why. To this day, I do not know why and this is one of the only tobaccos that you have to do this. Now that's one of everyone's concerns. Why is Tangiers the only tobacco that you have to acclimate? Why is it so finicky? And I still don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you this based off my experience now, all the times that I've been smoking, been teaching people how to pack it and acclimate it. I have videos on both of those things. So if you're unsure on how to pack Tangiers in general, check out that video. If you've never seen what acclimation is because you've never smoked Tangiers and it's not common with any other brand, definitely check out that video also. But I'm telling you, I still experience the same problems today, even with my many years of smoking kilos, kilos, and kilos of Tangiers. I used to be a tester for Tangiers. They send me out flavors before they were released and I would tell them my opinion on them. So I have a lot of experience with Tangiers and yet I still have problems with it to this day. There are flavors that I think are not really smokable. There are flavors that other people claim they enjoy. They've packed me bowls and I'm still like, this doesn't really smoke that great. So I'm a strong believer that some flavors of Tangiers just don't smoke all that great. Now my personal favorites, if you guys are wondering, let me just try to think of this. Cashmere peach, cane mint, mimon is pretty good, pine pass, uh, now with melon, um, foreplay on the peach. Those are all delicious flavors. And I think Leviathan stands up to those flavors. I think it's really enjoyable and I've had very little problems with this particular flavor. So telling you right out of the box or bag when I open these flavors, I opened I think six of the nine and I'm telling you they smelled perfect right out of the bag. I did notice that when I did acclimate them, 
out of habit because why not acclimate them if it takes just a few minutes. Um, I did notice that the flavors were more pronounced, the smell was more bold, and it did smell a lot better. But out of the bag, all of them smelled fine, never smelled like barbecue sauce or soy sauce. And actually, I've never had a batch of Tangiers that I've opened that has had a foul smell. It's very consistent that uh, the smell that comes right out of the bag is not as potent as when you acclimate it, but never a foul smell at all. But people are reporting that when they open their Tangiers, they are smelling this soy sauce, barbecue sauce, and this has been consistent for years. So I believe these reports, I think they are true, just not based off my experience. In addition, some people are reporting that they are tasting nothing, zero flavor from some of their new Tangiers and even some old Tangiers. Now about six months ago, I did have a batch of cane mint that was flavorless. I packed it, nothing. I mean, I went through the whole 250 and never tasted a single thing. I don't even know why I finished it. I think it's because I bought it and I was mad, but I smoked it all. And then I packed another batch of Tangiers, something I bought probably a year prior. And that batch, even after I packed it a year later, was still bold, flavorful, and cane mint delicious. So I do think that there is such thing as bad batches. All tobacco companies have bad batches, except for maybe Alfacher, but that's a different story. So I'm not mad at that. Bad batches are okay. It's a crop. It's a natural product. It's gonna happen. So if you guys have had a bad batch of Tangiers, definitely comment below. Let me know. This is an open discussion, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts. But I will tell you this. I still smoke Tangiers on a weekly basis. Cane mint and cashmere peach all the time. I still love it. I still love Tangiers, but I do think that there is something off with it. I do still think that there's something weird with it and I definitely acknowledge that people are having problems because I've had problems in the past. But let's focus on today's flavor, Leviathan. Leviathan is probably one of my favorite flavors of all time with Tangiers. I mean, it's right up there with that K-Peach. It's super, super delicious and definitely one of my favorite flavors out of the new release. Um, some of the new flavors that came out, you guys will see reviews on them. Some of them will be short because I don't like them at all. Some of them, it's just the flavor profile is not to my liking and some of them, the flavor profiles are a little light for my liking. It does accentuate that dark leaf note. You guys know by now, if you guys have been watching, I'm not a big fan of that heavy hitting dark leaf. I like when that bold flavor is able to mask that dark leaf flavor, but that's what Tangiers is known for. So that's just my preference. Some people like that balance more and some people even like to taste that dark leaf. We all just have different preferences, but let me take a few hits, a little bit of a smoke break and we'll get into this a little bit further. Oh boy, is this smoky and it's performing really, really well. So Leviathan is advertised to be a lavender and menthol flavor. This is definitely up my alley. You guys know Trifecta's lavender mint is up there for me. I love that flavor. And I definitely think this is a great take on a lavender mint. Uh, John from Hookah Dash Shisha even mentioned maybe there was a little bit of sage in here. And I definitely get that from the smell. But what actually translates to the smoke is that lavender. I mean, that lavender is great. I have an essential oils diffuser. I put lavender all the time. And I'm telling you, this is on par with that. The lavender, this is accurate. It's not overly perfumey. And I think it's a great pair with a dark leaf tobacco. That mint in here is hard kicking. It's cool. And it makes this a really enjoyable flavor to smoke for a long time. It's not one of those flavors that you really get tired of. I will say this though, if you are comparing this to a trifecta lavender mint, I mean the flavors are totally muted. But I don't think that Changer's flavors in general are super in your face. I do think they are all kind of mild. So in my opinion, Leviathan flavor strength is kind of on par with the rest of Tangier's. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's typical Tangier style. What I do think though is people who don't prefer that dark leaf who maybe are newer to Tangiers, when that bold hitting flavor does kind of calm down a little bit and those dark leaf notes do come out, I can see why some people might find it off-putting or even think that the flavor strength is a little low. But I'm telling you, I definitely enjoy this flavor. Out of all the new flavors that I have, this is the one that I've been gravitating towards the most. This is the one that I want to pack and this is a flavor that I'm going to buy again. So if you are considering buying the new Tangiers flavors, Leviathan has to be number one. I'm telling you, of all the other ones, this one is delicious. 
I love mints, I love florals, and like I said, this is definitely up my alley. A lot of other people have said they like some of the other flavors, and I kind of disagree. So this is just my take on the new flavors and my review of Leviathan. So if you are considering it, this is the one to get. And if you are gonna buy it, obviously pick it up from hookah-shisha.com. They were kind enough to provide all the flavors for me to review for you guys, so you guys know what to pick up. So go show them some love. Thank them for always supporting me by checking out with them. And don't forget to use my code strictly shisha to save 15% on your orders and it does stack with all their sales. So you get a pretty awesome deal over at Hookah Dash Shisha. Also, they are a vendor that cares. So if you ever have issues with any of your products or you have any sort of concerns or questions, their online support is amazing. Their staff there is great. I actually recently hung out with them in Austin. They are genuinely good people and I like them. So I highly support them as a vendor and I definitely think you guys should too. So check out Hookah Shisha.com. But in conclusion, Leviathan, awesome. In terms of performance, great. Zero issues in terms of performance. Flavor strength for me is on par with Tangiers and I think it's suitable and delicious and I would definitely buy this. This is good stuff. But for all of you guys having trouble with Tangiers, don't give up on it. Maybe pick up Cane Mint first. Definitely test it out with that. Learn how to pack it properly acclimate it because you probably need to. Find the gems, find the flavor profiles that you enjoy and just smoke those. Don't worry about the rest of them. That's just my simple advice. But always feel free to comment below with your thoughts. Send me emails, strictly shisha at gmail.com. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. But I've, as I've told someone in the past, if you can't figure out Tangiers, it's okay. It doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing or you're less of a smoker. You're just all amazing. Pick up a different brand. Just enjoy smoking and be happy. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you guys kind of like this less formal style of review, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you think I'm an idiot, definitely don't comment below. But yes, have an awesome day, guys. Take care. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.